The marine organism we're going to identify now is the roughhead blenny. There are several different species of tiny blennies that live in abandoned tube worm tubes or other holes in the reef structure, and the roughhead blenny is one of them. You have to look hard to see the roughhead blenny, as it usually only has its head sticking out of its home. They have lots of little cirri or slender projections on the top of their head, but these are very difficult to see without some sort of magnifying device, such as a macro lens on a camera or a magnifying glass. The most obvious distinguishing characteristic of the roughhead blenny that differentiates it from other similar species, such as the spiny head blenny, are the orange irises of its eye. Their body color can vary a great deal, ranging from a light tan to a dark brown to yellow, and it's often lighter toward the tail. They have brown and white speckles on their heads and bodies. Males have a dark spot outlined in white on the forward part of their dorsal fins. Females are generally lighter in color, some nearly white. The one in this clip is likely a female. As I said, they are very small, usually less than an inch and a half in length, and no bigger in diameter than a pencil. Roughhead blennies are almost always found in holes in coral reefs. They live in these holes with just their head emerging from the opening while they watch for food particles to drift by in the water column. They feed primarily on amphipods and copepods. If they see something tasty, they dart out of their hole to grab it and quickly return to the hole, re-entering tail first. If they feel threatened, they will quickly withdraw completely into their tube home. Roughhead blennies actually and are egg layers. The eggs are laid inside the tube in which the fish lives and are guarded by the male until the young hatch. Roughhead blennies are seen occasionally throughout the tropical waters of Florida and the Bahamas, as well as the rest of the Caribbean. They are generally found at depths ranging from 20 feet to 60 feet and often there will be large numbers of blennies living in close proximity to one another. That's the roughhead blenny.